Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update for uh, you guys on Selenium that uh, it's a good move, not a bad move. In fact, it's a good news. Selenium will stop supporting Java 8 from 30th September 2023. They have officially announced on their website and it's uh, no more support for Java 8 after 30th September 2023. What are the consequences? What exactly going to impact my framework? I'm already using JDK 8. What should I do and all those things? We will be there to, uh, to show you what are the different things that we have to install. And uh, we will see, we will try to observe the community. will try to uh, check that how exactly it's compatible with the 11 and 17 or whatever the version, the Selenium guys, they are suggesting. So you simply go to in the Selenium officially website, selenium.dev blog 2023, the latest blog, Java 8 support in Selenium. And, uh, June 9, 2023, it's already announced. Java 11 will be the minimum version supported by Selenium. And it's clearly written. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It's saying you may have heard, but sometimes it's necessary to move on from your old favorites. That's why we are announcing Selenium will stop supporting Java 8 on September 30th, 2023. This applies for both Java bindings and the Selenium grid. It means if you're using Selenium WebDriver with Java, not for other folks. Other folks means if you're using Selenium WebDriver with some other language like Python, Ruby, you don't need to worry about it. It's only for the Java update. So 30th September onward, Java 8 uh, Selenium will not support. If you're facing any kind of issues or anything, then Selenium is not responsible for that. So they advise that better you install Java 11 or Java 17. I'll explain you what exactly, which version that you need to use it. But it's clearly written that uh, for both Java binding, it means if you're using Selenium WebDriver and uh, as a POM, in your pom.xml file, you're using, uh, you know, in the Maven pom.xml file, you're using Selenium WebDriver Java version and the Selenium grid. And the Java version also that you're using Java 8, better do not use it. Install either Java 11 or Java 17. Same thing will be applied on Selenium grid. Why Selenium grid? Why we need Java for that? Because for example, tomorrow, you're running your test cases on the Docker container on some cloud or some machine, or let's see some EC2 machine uh, on the, on the Amazon cloud with a, a Linux machine. So on that machine, first we download what we did download Java or Java eight over there. Then we set up Selenium grid, either it is Dockerized grid or Selenoid or whatever. So better now on that machine also, you have to start using uh, Java 17 or 11. Selenium has long uh, support for Java 8. That's true, actually, but technology evolves. So must we? Yes, of course. One of the primary reasons for this change is Java 8 reached end of the active support one over a year ago. If you see uh, end of life dot date, it's clearly written over here that for Java 8, it's uh, support already ended one year active support. This is for the security support and this is for the active support ended one year and two months ago. Okay. So Java 20, it's uh, started and uh, 17 LTA support is still available. That will be ended in next three years, 30th September, 2026. This is what Selenium also uh, saying over here that uh, if you really want to use uh, 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 Selenium with Java, then you have to upgrade to 11. And then 11 also, the minimum version will be 11 uh, for uh, Selenium will be Java 11 and September 30th, 2023 is also the end of active support for Java 11. However, we want to take cautious and conservative path forward. They are going very slow and it's not like immediately they are saying that you have to upgrade. First, you upgrade from uh, Java 8 to 17 and we understand the community might need longer to move to that version. We will revisit this topic in the future, announce the plan for support Java 17 as a minimum version. So right now, the minimum version will be Java 11. You would need at least uh, JDK 11 on your system if you really want to run your test cases with Selenium Java or on Selenium Grid. Why they have done? Because that is a major problem and you must have seen on different uh, uh, blogs also, officially also a couple of times they talked about uh, their default HTTP client has, uh, has not had a major release in several years. Because whatever the API client or JSON web protocol or WebSocket protocol that Selenium is using internally to interact with the uh, Selenium binaries or uh, browser binary, either it is uh, BID or uh, you know HTTP request client, they are using it. 
and it has a bug and they cannot fix it. So we have decided to move the native Java HTTP client, but that requires at least Java 11 or greater. With Java 8, they cannot fix that particular bug. So that's what they have to have uh, this Java 11 support. And that's why they have to stop supporting Java 8. So the sooner we make this change, sooner we can avoid dealing with this particular issue. That was a major issue. And uh, I'm sure that they are building WebDriver by die also. And for that purpose also, they are using HTTP client to send the request in the form of bi-directional uh, communication. That's why that bug has to be fixed. And then they need the higher version of Java in that case. And uh, clearly return, we understand that this change may require some of our users to make adjustment, definitely. But we believe that it's a necessary step for the continued growth of Selenium. Please make some time to check your infrastructure. It means if you have a Selenium grid infrastructure on maybe on some cloud or uh, on AWS or GCP or Microsoft Azure or, or maybe some different cloud that you're using it and ensure that you're running on Java 11 and higher. We understand that some may be hesitant or may it difficult to make uh, the switch, but we believe it will pay off in the long run. So please don't uh, hesitate to upgrade your version from Java 8 to 11. At least 17 is the minimum version that they are going to support. Very soon they are going to announce it. But uh, till September 30th, 2023, see September is about to come uh, after two, three months. So after that also, now that will be the Java 17 will be the minimum version. So better, I would advise you to start uh, using uh, from Java 8 to 17 instead of 11. If you're already having 11, okay, fine. Maybe you can just wait till September 30 or maybe they can extend the date also, but at least you are safe with Java 11 instead of Java 8. But if you're using Selenium first time and if you're already having a 17, then you can, you don't need to do anything. You just like uh, whatever that you're using, just use it as it is. One thing, whenever you're creating any Maven or Gradle project, <clears throat> in the Maven project, we have to give the Maven compiler plugin and the and then we, we have to mention that uh, what exactly the compiler version that you want to use or which Java version that you really want to use in your form file. So we have, there also we have to mention that Java 17 over there, if you are using Java 17 instead of JDK 1.8. What exactly we were doing, if I'm having, uh, let's see 17, but still I'm, I was using 1.8 in my format XML file in the property section. So, or in the Java version section. So we have to remove it and we have to upgrade it from the uh, 8 to 17 over there as well. So nothing to worry. It's not like you have to change your entire code or something like this. You have to keep observing. Once you make the changes, maybe on the lower environment, just keep running your test cases on a daily basis. Try to observe what could be the issue. And then are you facing any challenges or any issue or maybe some APIs or libraries are not working properly. And then some exceptions you are getting from Selenium side and then uh, and then uh, some uh, bindings are missing or something like this, we can always raise a bug with Selenium. And then uh, that's why we have uh, three months of time till September 30th, 2023, once it is uh, officially will be Java 11. So by the time you guys can do this experiment, if you're having a, a framework designed with JDK 1.8, upgrade your compiler version to uh, JDK 11 or 17, and then just check what exactly the issue that you are facing. Is it going uh, very smoothly? Then you don't need to worry about it. And then make sure that, okay, you're using the latest version of TestNG also, because uh, the TestNG also, it's supporting the latest version of Java. So start using it. It's been around more than uh, uh, 11 years with the Java 8. So better we all have to uh, upgrade ourselves to Java 11 and the 17, and then start using the new version of uh, uh, Java or the new feature of Java that also you can use it. There are no major changes in terms of code. It's not like you have to initialize your elements or driver in a different way. Same way it will be there in Java 17, whatever the extra features are available, maybe uh, records and all those things are available. If you really want to use that, that particular part that you can use it. Otherwise, the rest of the things that you are using thread local and all the object oriented programming concepts and classes, Java objects, everything will remain same in 17 also. It's all about that, uh, you know, upgrade the version and make sure that, okay, you are uh, running your uh, test cases and your framework is smoothly working fine or not. Same thing with the Selenium grid also. Okay. So it will be a challenging work for other cloud vendors also Lambda test, Sauce Labs and a browser stack. Maybe they are already upgraded that we need to check that. So if they are not, then definitely they have to do it exactly same thing over there as well. So uh, we will keep uh, uh, upgrading. Uh, okay. We will keep uh, announcing the new things over here uh, through the channel and then the social media blocks. Another that uh, I'll practically show you how to upgrade from 8 to 11 or 8 to 17 practically, and then we will install and then we will 
check that okay where exactly in the form file we can uh, mention the java version and then how to run our test cases with the latest version of selenium and then i think uh, you can also follow the exactly same path and uh, it's not a big deal it's not a big rocket science here it's very straightforward very simple and then uh, you guys can carry forward after that so that's all this is what i really want to share with you guys i hope uh, you like this particular change what do you think about write in the comment section about your opinion and everything share this video with others so that other people also will get to know Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.